So you're looking to buy some new speakers, but you're not sure which ones to get. You've got a sales guy filling your head with a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo, but let's be honest, all you really care about is how they're gonna sound. Sit back, take notes, and start building your playlist with these top five songs perfect for testing your next state-of-the-art speaker system. Of course, if you've got a hidden gem in your playlist that's perfect for pushing your speakers to the limit, leave a comment. Number five, Axel F by Harold Faltermeyer. The 1984 theme song to Beverly Hills Cop starring Eddie Murphy Axel F became an international number one hit a year later. Why does it work for testing your speakers? Axel F incorporates moments of full sound with moments of complete silence. With its high tones and constant movement, this isn't your typical post-disco instrumental jam. Number four, William Tell Overture by Gioacchino Rossini. Sure, it's the title theme to the Lone Ranger TV series, but it's also a great tune to test your speakers. At 12 minutes long, this masterpiece has an impressive range of sound. The prelude is quiet and somber. The storm booms with kettle drums and racing violin chords. The Rons de Vaches is serene, featuring the oboe and flute. And finally, blaring trumpets, which you'll immediately recognize, come in at the finale and will confirm whether or not the speakers you like are the ones you need. Number three, the Eagles Hotel California. When we say Hotel California, we're not talking about the original version featured on the self-titled 1977 album, The Eagles. We're talking about the re-released, enhanced, and totally live version you'll find on Hell Freezes Over. Sure, the original release is awesome, but for testing speakers, the live version is, well, better. The acoustic guitar solo at the beginning is littered with clear, high-pitched tones. And when those bongo drums kick in, a good speaker will treat you to a surprising amount of bass. If you can't hear these subtle surprises, then maybe the speakers you thought were right are actually all wrong. Number two, Baba O'Reilly by The Who. An experiment in sound, this song combines heavily synthesized music with traditional instruments. Listen, if the intro to Baba O'Reilly doesn't make you dizzy, you're not listening to the right speakers. The constant left to right motion is a great way to test for high fidelity. Combine that with the piano chords, crashing drums, rhythmic guitar, and Roger Daltrey's defiant voice, and you've got a recipe for the perfect test song. Number one, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Originally released in 1975's A Night at the Opera, Bohemian Rhapsody took three weeks to record in five different studios. With no real repeating chorus, no continuous melody, and bizarre, sometimes nonsensical lyrics, this song was a musical experiment that could have failed but it didn't. Why is it our number one pick? Bohemian Rhapsody has every speaker test imaginable. Acapella vocals, soft melodic piano, booming bass, face melting guitar riffs, and that's just the first half of the song. There are over 180 separate overdubs, and you should expect each level of sound to come through crisp and clear with a really good set of speakers. Seriously, if the sales guy who keeps going on about tech specs only lets you test one song, make it Bohemian Rhapsody. So, what'd you think of our list? Did we miss the mark? Leave out your favorite jam? Leave a comment and let us know what five songs you'd put on your playlist.